So back in 2021, I remember watching this great review by Techie DIY of the Carvara CNC machine. This was a new product to the market and packed with lots of useful features. It really set the bar high for desktop CNC machines. However, at between five and six thousand dollars, well, it was certainly too rich for my pockets and a lot of people out there getting into CNC. But a few years later, I'm really excited to introduce to you the Carvara Air. So why am I so excited about this machine? Well, there are three reasons. Number one, this is significantly cheaper than its older brother. Number two, it's also part of a Kickstarter campaign that goes live the day this video comes out. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Kickstarter, I will talk about it later on in the video. But the main thing you need to know is the earlier you're committing to buying this machine, the more you will save. And we're talking nearly half price by being one of the first to sign up. And number three, well, just look at it. It looks awesome and it is an all-in-one CNC machine that has factored in so many different features. So I'm treating today's video like an introduction. I'm going to talk a bit about the machine, show you some of its features and ultimately what you can expect from it in the end for those people who want to get involved nice and early with the Kickstarter. Then in about two weeks time I'm going to release another video showing it in action, obviously doing a lot of cutting on different materials and producing various projects. But ultimately, well, we know it's descended from a great machine so this is also going to be a brilliant machine. So let's start with the base frame, a core component of all CNC machines. This is made from cast aluminium. We're not talking thin aluminium either. That base piece is two inches deep. That means it is very solid, very sturdy, and ultimately a great starting point for any CNC machine. Now the X and Y axis, they are running on 20 millimeter thick linear rods. And again, just very supportive and very strong. The Z axis is running on linear rails. I think these are HG15s, I'm never quite sure of the rating, but either way, more than sufficient for what this machine needs to do. And I should also mention that all of the axes are running on ball screws. Now this is technically a prototype and using open loop stepper systems, but the final version that comes out will be using closed loop stepper systems. Brilliant upgrade for them to make before this is even released. The bed is made up of three separate layers, a solid aluminium plate as the base, then a composite board with lots of threaded inserts in for all of your different clamping needs and finished off with a spoil board on top. And this is all supported extremely well by those linear rods that I mentioned earlier. Let's take a second to talk about the work area because that's a big thing to a lot of people. You can clearly see from the machine behind me, it is not the largest of desktop machines. In fact, I kind of like how small and compact it is. And it's a perfect example that bigger isn't always better. This focuses on more on quality, accuracy, and precision. Now the work area itself is 300 by 200 by 130 millimeters on the Z travel. So I think that's 12 by 8 by five if my conversions are roughly correct in my head. So it is a smaller work area, but as a result, it ends up meaning that the whole machine obviously is more rigid to give you that quality and precision whenever you are main machining, particularly on things like soft metals. So a very obvious question is why is this significantly cheaper than its older brother? Well, obviously they've made some changes and developments along the way from that original machine to keep the costs down. For example, the original machine came with an ATC, an automatic tool changer. These do cost quite a bit to implement. So instead of that, they have now put a new system in, which is a quick change tool. Literally one pull of the handle, take the bit out, put a new bit in, and you're good to go. You are changing bits over in a matter of seconds. And what's crazy is they've also managed to include the laser in this quick change system. Now I'll come back to the laser in a bit. But another thing that they have changed on this machine versus the old one is the old one had a an inbuilt dust extraction system. Now on this version, they've still kept the dust extraction hose and a dust extraction shoe, but you can connect your own vacuum to it. And in some cases they've kept the exact same function, but being able to do it in a cheaper way. So for example, auto probing, where you check the levelness of the material you're machining. On the old machine, that was done with a wireless probe, but on this newer version, it's done with a wired probe. The wired probe is a bit cheaper. 
ultimately benefits us, but you get the same function. So again, it's just those little modifications that have helped them to bring the cost right down. Safety is a big thing to a lot of people, and the first obvious thing we can see is this is a fully enclosed CNC unit. Now, not only does that keep all of the debris inside of the machine itself, but it will also minimize the amount of noise, protecting your ears. Now, the hood on this when you open it also has an engagement switch, so it knows when it's open and closed, and all of the axis on the CNC machine itself have limit switches as well and at worst case scenario there is always the big red button that you can hit in case of emergency. What materials can we realistically expect this to machine? Well it's going to do all of the common things like softwood, hardwoods, MDF, plastics, acrylics and composites but it will even go further. It will do soft metals such as aluminium, brass, copper and it will even do PCBs as well as carbon fibre. Now obviously I mentioned earlier about the auto probing feature. That is a great thing for when you are machining things such as metal or the PCB boards because obviously it can check for any imperfections in the surface ultimately giving you much better results at the end. A really common question that always comes up with the machines that I review is can they be run without a PC or laptop? Now usually the solution is a very clunky offline controller that makes life pretty difficult but let me show you this. This is just a normal Android phone there is no PC or laptop connected to this and I can literally operate this however I want. I can load jobs in, I can monitor it. So you can run this machine completely without a laptop or a PC. If you want to operate the machine via your phone or a tablet, there is a holder that comes with the kit and a USB charging point, just making everything extremely convenient. So let's quickly talk about software. Not only does this come with its own control software for operating the machine, it also comes with its own CAM software for doing the design as well. So it's pretty cool of them to provide you with both of those. But don't worry if you are used to using other programs such as Carveco, Fusion, Vectric, those type of things. Because this is all still built on Gerbil, you can use pretty much any software out there to do your own designs. So you don't have to be committed to their own software, you can use your own, but it does come with it if that makes your life easier. So I mentioned the laser earlier, let's come back to it now. One of the additional ways they've managed to bring the cost down is by making things as optional extras. So for example, the original machine, you had to have the laser with it no matter what. However, if you don't want it, it's saving you money by not having it. But if you do want it, it's only $99 to add it onto the package. Similar thing with the fourth axis, that's $299. Not everyone is interested in fourth axis, so you're saving money by not having to have it. But if it is something you're interested, in well it's a plug and play device so life is made very easy so we've taken a look at the machine and the great features about it but what is Kickstarter how do these campaigns work well in its simplest form it gives customers the chance to buy the machine before it's gone into full production and for that they get a huge discount off the retail price so for example the Carvera Air the first 500 people that purchase this machine will get a thousand dollars off it making it twelve hundred dollars or eleven nine nine technically and actually the first hundred people that buy it will get an additional set of bits thrown in as well just to sweeten the deal. The second wave of people will get $800 off and the third wave of people will get $600 off. So really, the earlier you commit to buying the machine, the bigger discount you actually get. And that's just the, the first benefit. There is a second benefit as well, which is companies often develop their machines behind closed doors. And it's not until they're released to the public that actually flaws and issues start to surface. Now, doing it via this campaign, they send out prototypes to people like myself and obviously others and we can ultimately will weed any issues out before this goes into full production so you can be assured that the product that lands on your doorstep well it's going to be near perfect good example of that obviously i mentioned earlier about the open loop stepper motors that are on my prototype your product will have closed loop stepper motors. They're also going to be introducing things like air assist to help keep things clean and help with the laser and just basically make the lid sturdier. That's just what's come through so far. Obviously the more testing that happens over the next month or so, they're all going to get factored in before this goes into production. As I say, just to give you the confidence that what you are investing in is going to be a great machine to take you forward. And if you're in any doubt about the quality of this machine, well let me show you how they even present their clamping bolts and tool bits. Thought and care has gone into every single element of this machine and the used interactivity with it. This is the nicest layout I've ever seen in a set of bits that's arrived with a machine. 
So if you think this is ticking a few boxes for you, and this genuinely does tick a lot of boxes, go and check out those links in the description area for the Kickstarter campaign. As I say, you have a limited time, and the earlier you sign up, the better discount you are going to get. Now, that is the overview of the Carvara Air. I now need to go and put this through its paces to get some more footage to show you all exactly what it can do. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. Final thanks, as always, goes to my patrons. I'll see you all on the next episode.